Welcome back. This is Andrew Nelson, partner Mining Capital Markets from GNA Financial Advisors here. I just arrived in Toronto, the heart of capital markets for Canada. I'm en route to the 2019 Red Cloud Oktoberfest, where Eric Sprott, resource investing legend, will be giving the keynote speech. I'm looking to meet with a number of institutional investors today and talk with some of the highest quality gold news. Let's go. We're here in downtown Toronto at the Red Cloud 2019 Mining Fall Showcase. I'm here with President and CEO of Cabral Gold, Alan Carter. Alan, how are you doing today? Pretty good, Andrew. So for our viewers unfamiliar with Cabral Gold, what's a 30-second elevator pitch on the company? The company is a gold and exploration development company listed on the TSX Venture Exchange. We have 61 million shares out. Um, we as a management team have been active in Brazil for the last 15 years or so. During that time, we've uh, uh, been involved directly in five gold discoveries. Um, we have a project here which uh, was the largest uh, plaza gold area uh, in the Tapajos region. And the Tapajos region, Andrew, as you may know, was the site of the world's largest ever gold rush in history. So there was a gold rush here between 1978 and 1995 in this region that involved um, a million people. So it was 10 times larger than the California gold wow. rush. So an estimated 20 to 30 million ounces of gold was washed from the streams there. And this project that we have, it's called Kuyu Kuyu, was the largest of those areas. So it's a pretty exciting project. There's been some drilling done previously. We already have a resource here of a million ounces. And earlier this year in February, we announced we discovered a new zone uh, called Mashishi. It's quite close to, it's only 600 meters uh, from one of the existing deposits there. And, um, and it's very high grade. Uh, the, the best drill hole that we've got from it so far, and we've only drilled about six or seven drill holes, is 3.4 meters at 36.9 grams a ton. And that's the, basically the summary. Fantastic. So I saw you did make that news release this morning that you're starting drilling on the Kui Kui project down in Brazil. What's important for investors to know where you're going to be drilling and what can investors expect? We'll start drilling with the Mashishi zone. So we're going to drill five or six additional holes down through there, both down dip, just to demonstrate that we've got down dip continuity of the zone. We've already got some holes which suggest we do have that, but we need to get more drill holes into it. And then the drill wick will move to um, one of the existing deposits where we've got a lot of high-grade mineralization, and we're trying to define the limits to that high-grade mineralization. So the second zone that we'll drill will be uh, Morera Gomez, or MG. And then the third zone that we'll drill is the second deposit, the known deposit there, called Central, where again we have an awful lot of high-grade intercepts there. We have 34 individual intercepts at the Central deposit above 10 grams a tonne. So there'll be a lot of news coming out on three separate target areas um, over the next few months. Fantastic, Alan, thanks for the update. This has been Andrew Nelson, partner of Mining Capital Markets with GNA Financial Advisors, and Alan Carter, the president and CEO of Cabral Gold, which trades on the TSX Venture Exchange under CVR. If you'd like more information, visit their website at cabralgold.com. Alan, thanks for taking the time. Thanks very much, Andrew.